It's Grimm's Jubilee this weekend. How do you plan to celebrate? In the 25 years since Grimm joined the Super League, we have developed a reputation for showmanship. Yeah! Yeah! So, we can think of no better way to celebrate than by playing Super Strikers. Strikers. Because your first Super League match was against the men in red? Precisely. They beat you 2-0 back then. That would definitely dampen the celebrations. Oh, this time we plan to reverse that scoreline. For Grimm! For Grimm! Gotta love that grim spirit. But who knew? No way. Yeah, not with our three striker formation, right, guys? Totally, Shakes. Just get me the ball and I'll score the goals. Come on. If anyone should get the credit, it's Big Bo. Without his rock solid goalkeeping, we couldn't all play forward. Give me a B for Big Bo. He's the hero of this song. And besides his awesome keeping, he's also very strong. Come on, Big Bo. Aren't you excited to be roomies? Well, I did bring noise-canceling headphones to block out all the humming, singing, and incessant talking. Whoa, oh, thanks, Big Bo. Uh, Don't look at me, brother. I've done my time. He once sang me a lullaby all through the night. Klaus, I'm going to need those back. Whoa, so quiet. Perfect for composing new chants. <laughs> give me a B, give me an I, give me a G, B, O. <laughs> Oh, it's you two. You know who is here, in the crowd. As I expected. Well, try not to cause a fuss. <laughs> Whoa. Do you know who I am? Whatever, I'm still the greatest player Grimm ever had. <laughs> When they see what I do to Big Bo, they'll be begging me to come back. Welcome to the castle, Super Strikers, where we treasure everything grim. From our countless trophies and the Tactinomicon, to our beloved cauldron and the infamous ghost train. Question, does the ghost train contain any actual ghosts? Grim may have a reputation for being haunted, but that's all superstition. Finally. We have the Hall of Heroes. Batbear, the bright. Nogden, the not so bright. Tim, tiny face Dubinsky. And Neville. Neville? His dad paid for the cauldron. But let me tell you about the man who built the cauldron. Legend has it that when the pitch was laid, the cauldron's groundsman came across a stone of peculiar shape. Though many tried, no man could lift it. None but Mislav Markovich. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, shredded it. Awesome. Ah. That's going on Natter. I'm making my own Hall of Heroes. <laughs> Where's the stone now? Some say it was lost when the cauldron was revamped. Others say it never existed. Uh, Coach Belmont? It looks like someone's been removed from the Hall of Heroes. Everything even associated with Spike Dawson is strictly banned from these grounds. Whoa. Heavy. But he deserved it. Yeah. Right, Big Bo? I've moved on. I'm sure Spike has too. This disguise, our fancy dress costume, was useless. Please accept our apology, sir. You can have another one on the house. What else you got? Mort, what you got? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Dawson. All the other costumes are booked out for the big game. What about... Hey, why are these in the bargain bin? That's the garbage bin. Ah! Here I am with the perfect plan to help Grim beat Super Strikers, but I can't get my message to Big Bo because my only way past security is a pink bunny suit! Why don't you just call him? Huh, nice cover. <laughs> yeah, we have costumes for everything, even phones. Nope, those are for display purposes only. All we've got left is this. You know what? I'll take it. And the bunny suit. Hey! For Grim! For Grim. Can you?
you at least deliver this peace offering to Big Bo for me? Ah! If I can't go through security, I'll go under it. No one knows these grounds like old Spike. <laughs> Cooler than a cucumber and sharper than a cactus. Zero wants his number because he likes to practice. So let's go, Big Bo. Good luck for the game. Thanks, Klaus. Oh, hey, where's the fruit come from? Huh? If it wasn't you, then... The cauldron is haunted! Ah! <gasps> hmm. Gossip. A simple thank you would suffice. What do you want, Spike? I want you to understand how important this game is to Grim. Grim wants nothing to do with you. Oh, that'll change when I tell everyone your secret. What secret? Ever since you injured your wrist a few years well, ago. I, I'm sure Klaus doesn't want to hear about that. Secret. And soon, so will everyone in the Super League. What? I'm gonna post it on Natter. Fine. What do you want me to do? I'm gonna take you on a little tour. At the end, there'll be a question. Get it right, and I'll cancel the post. <sighs> Where do we start? Pull on the candle holder. Oh. Um... Not that one. Whoa! Big bow? <gasps> Big Bo is a ghost? It's time for the real Grim Tour. Right. First up, calling the stadium the cauldron. That was my idea. And eating all those ice lollies? Also your idea. Maybe. Next up is the famous ghost train. My idea. And finally, Grim FC's legendary showmanship. Your idea. My idea! <laughs> Grim has tried to erase my legacy, but you can't rewrite history! So, who's responsible for making Grim the club it is today? Um, Neville? Careful now, Big Bo. All right, it's Spike Dawson. You bet your life it's Spike Dawson! So, are we done? Oh, there will be two more lessons. Answer the banana within three rings, or the post goes live! Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh. Huh? Hmm, back at the Hall of Heroes. Third striker coming through! Yeah, the three-striker formation is rocking, dudes. Well, it's easy when there's no one to stop the ball. Klaus, huh? where's Big Bo? I don't know, Coach. He disappeared, just like a ghost. Sorry I'm late, Coach. I got a little lost. All right, well, let's get on with it. Yes! The three-striker formation is fucking great! It's not our fault we've got the best goalie in the Super League! Yeah, as long as he doesn't disappear again... Huh? Huh? Big bow! The guy could stop a freight train. He could catch an aeroplane. Isn't uh, that... Uh, ah! uh, ah! uh, Get back, Ghost of Shakes! It's me, dude. Big Bo's gone missing. Again. Step onto the plate, Big Bo. The Skull Stone? Huh? Come on, Spike. If you want to play footy, just ask. Oh, we're playing a game called What It Feels Like. Be Spike, uh, weighed down by the burden of unrealized talent, I couldn't move forward. Instead, I spent my time watching and re-watching every game you played. I noticed something everyone else missed. How good I look in tights? Your weakness! In five minutes, that cannon will fire. 
Save the gold, or I release your secret. <laughs> and if I can't lift the stone? Then you'll stay down there and be forgotten. Just like they forgot old Spike. This means you post my secret on Natter. Not if you've learned your lesson. Whose career did you destroy? Oh. Say it! Spike Dawson. Correct. All right, what's my final challenge? Oh, I'm saving that for tomorrow. But tomorrow's the game! <laughs> So, you think Big Bo is a ghost? I know he's a ghost! But he is alive, yes? How'd he suddenly become a ghost? Maybe he was touched by another ghost! I don't think that's how ghosts work. You're thinking of vampires, Klaus! And werewolves. And zombies. You're telling me those monsters can make other monsters, but ghosts can't make other ghosts? Enough it is. There's no such thing as go- Ghost! <laughs> He's not a ghost. We were worried about you, brother. Yeah, where have you been? And why are you wet? You sure you want to know? Of course, Come dude. on, try us. Brothers. <sighs> a few years ago, I injured my wrist against the upright. It wasn't long before I was back in goal, but Spike had made it his mission to watch my every move. And eventually, he figured out my weakness. What weakness? Yeah, you are the best. Whenever I dive low to my left, I hesitate. About one in three shots goes in. <laughs> now, unless I do what Spike says, he'll put my secret out on Natter. You'll be a soft target for the Grim Strikers tomorrow. We'll be lucky if the scoreline is only two nils. That's scarier than you being a ghost, Big Bo. Hey, we're always counting on you, Big Bo. But tomorrow, you can count on us. Yeah, we'll score a bunch of goals. Let's do it. Yeah. We got you, Big That'll Bo. That'll take the pressure off. Yeah. Give me a beat. Nope. Match night at the Cauldron. As usual, the Grim fans have really got into the spirit of the occasion. And so have the commentators. Right, Mac? Well, I hate to be outdone, Brenda. Too late! Ah! <laughs> <gasps> hmm. <laughs> Guys, footy isn't about how you look. It's about how I look. <laughs> <laughs> For Grim! For Grim! If you see this man, report it to security. Spike Dawson! That weirdo! Some guys just don't know when to quit. Tonight, Veratuvia is like a ghost town. Because everyone's at the cauldron. Yeah, everyone except me. Thanks for nothing, Belmont. Wow. Those masks are getting pretty good. <sighs> Gone to the game. Duh. Hm, a little rude. <laughs> yes. Perfect. The first half draws to a close as Super Strikers turn up the heat. But the home team stays cool under pressure. At this stage, uh. it's anyone's game. Come on! We got a score for Big Bo! Let's do it! Me first! Okay, fine. Then me second! Come on! Take a mask! That's it! Look at me! Huh? I'm the guy who almost ruined Grim! Free? I wouldn't wear one if you paid me! Dawson is the worst! I need to get in there! Finally, it's my turn. Oh, and it's Grim on the counter. With Super Strikers bullfitting their attack, they've left gaps in the midfield. Grim closes in on Big Bo. Oh, oh, Grim! Cutting it fine. What?
That's the last lesson, Spike. Identify my rightful place in Grimm, and you'll get to cancel the post yourself. Hmm, Spike's rightful place. My last challenge is at the castle. But we got you covered, brother. Spike has left me no choice. You won't make it back in time. I know a shortcut. Hey, yo, what do you know? My Ruby is the best and his name is Big. Huh? Huh? Hey, you can't go in there. <laughs> I said you can't. Where did they go? That's freaky. You hear that? Maybe the cauldron is haunted. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Spike, your rightful place, huh? Shakes? I know it's gonna give Grimm an advantage, but it's not worth letting Spike control you like this. You can cancel this post, but how will you stop the next one? Or the next? Hmm? It's another post from Spike Dawson. And if he's right, Big Bo has a weakness to his bottom left. <gasps> Where are they? We can't do this without them. <laughs> How do you keep doing that? Whoa, to his left. <laughs> <laughs> Spike was right. One and three goes in! For Spike! For Spike! And the fans show their appreciation. There he is! For Spike! For Spike! Cool, man. All right. Give me yeah. one. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I'm getting the recognition I deserve! Hey, I'm real happy for you, buddy. But you're standing on my foot! <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Grim is really hammering Big Bo's weak spot. And it's another save! That's two! Will the next one be a goal? <laughs> but Super Spike is defenders can see the corner. Belmont is waving his whole team forward. He really wants to reverse the historic scoreline and win 2 0. <laughs> My room is kind of gloomy and sort of acting like a ghost, but I know he'll always be there when his team needs him the most. Don't bother, Klaus. All I've done is let a goal in. I'm not cheering because you never let a goal in. I cheer because to do our best, we need to focus on our strengths, not what holds us back. Besides, your roomies. Release your sick. I hesitate. Your weakness. One in three shots focus goes on our in. Strengths. <laughs> One big ball. Epic save, dude! Oh, me! On one! Big Bow defies the odds! And it's a massive goal kick! Can his teammates deliver on the opposite end? Ah! Yes, they can! <laughs> Give me a B! B! Find him. It's like trying to find a needle in a stack of needles. This sucks. A draw? Spike Dawson's theory's done nothing for Grim. For Grim. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, please. You can kick me out, but I'll be back. You will see. Oh. <laughs> Finally, the skull stone is where it belongs. That's not the only thing that's where it belongs. I guess we pulled it off, Big Bo. I gotta admit, Klaus, you're a pretty awesome roommate. That's very supportive. Could you try it in chant form? I'll help you. It's Klaus, Klaus, MC in the house. Really? You're all ghosts now? 
I guess this place isn't haunted. Huh? Time now to recognize this season's greatest moments of sportsmanship with the Super League Fair Play Awards. Our first nominee is Nakama's oh. star striker and a true man of honor, Miko Chen! Brussels sprout? Next up, from Barca FC, known for his friendly vibes on and off the field, Riano! Huh? And our final nominee, whose charisma and noble spirit have captured the hearts of fans and players alike, Shakes! Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Huh? Uh. Whoa! Whoa! Iron tank. Attack! Walnut stuffing? Delicious! Wait. I'm allergic to walnuts! Ah! No. Super and finally, public misuse of a meatball at a Super League event. Shakes and Scara are hereby sentenced to a six-month ban. What? Order. You're banning my Star Striker a week before we play Super Strikers? Order! With respect, Your Honor, six months is a long time, and it won't solve the conflict between the players. You didn't let me finish. The sentence is a six-month ban, or we can try something a little more experimental. In extreme cases, the disciplinary board has used a specialized institute to achieve more dramatic results. A Swiss institute? They are impartial, clinical, and highly effective. All arrangements have been made. However, we can't move forward until you approve their treatment plan. We're listening. You two got lucky. The judge reduced your sentence from a six-month ban to a week of conflict resolution. I guess that's good news, but what about practice? The Derby's in a week. We can't say any more. It's all up to you guys now. Play nice, okay? Thought you two'd never wake up. Are we in Switzerland yet? Nope. We're flying over one of the world's last protected rainforests. Miles and miles of uninhabited wilderness. Wow. Uh, who are you? I'm Nisha from the Swiss Institute. Hey, uh, Nisha, what's that for? Oh, that's just one of our collaboration tools. Ah, a little back and forth passing, eh? Well, it's not quite that simple. You have to keep it in motion for 12 hours straight. Sounds simple to me. Hey, you can't just put it in a handbag and go for a walk. You must make boot contact at least every 10 seconds or the ball shuts down and they revert to the six month ban. Huh? Uh, they'll explain everything at the Institute. I've said too much already. Yeah, how about you stick to flying the plane? Take it easy, Prince Charming. We're only here because you started a food fight. You deserved it after what you did to get your precious fair play award. Whatever, dude. I was just trying to help. <laughs> I hate to interrupt. We have a problem! Uh, We're gonna have to jump! What? <gasps> no way! Just do what she says! Don't lecture me! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh, uh, mind if I borrow this? Sara! Hey! Whoa. Got any spare parachutes? Made it, made it! Oh. Losing out! Bail out! Bail out! Bail out! I know some of you will see our next fixture as a grudge match. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. It kinda is. Invincible United is going down. Especially after what their captain did to the Klaus dude in that food fight. What? 
Ah, my lip. That pesky bone not allergy. <laughs> Guys, our approach will be cool and professional, combining the four fundamentals of football. Skills, training, strategy, and teamwork. So what about Shakes? The brother's still on the team, right? That is entirely up to him. Would be nice to still include him in our game plan. Ta-da! It's Snake Dummy, just like the real thing. Not quite. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Even better than the real thing. Nice landing! Whoa! Stupid tree! Whoa! This wilderness is pretty wild. And a long way from Switzerland. Guess we'll be missing the Darby after all. Come on, if we can get to the plane, we've still got a chance. The plane? Which has a radio and is exactly the reason I was going to suggest we go there. So, Vince. I assume you've got some kind of plan for the Darby. Yeah, what are we going to do about Skara? Don't worry, boys. I've dealt Skara a perfect hand. And if he plays his cards right, we'll crush Super Strikers this weekend. I really miss him. <laughs> and all the funny names he calls me. <laughs> no one said you could speak, Dingus. Yeah, shut your pie hole, you big dope. That's so sweet, you guys. But it's just not the same. Bad idea, dude. These make you fart like crazy. <laughs> Not me. it all falls apart without number four, teamwork. Yeah, the whole team. Pulling together as one, no man left behind. Relax, huh? guys. You don't need me. El Matador will score all the goals. Ah! No sign of the pilot. Misha, she made it out in time. Maybe she went for help. I wouldn't count on it. You're right. We still need to get a signal out. How about we set these alight? Hilarious. Besides, this whole crash site's a smoke signal and no one's come for us yet. What we need is something like... Huh. <laughs> oh, ah! So much for airplane mode. Aha! Food! This will be useful. Stop the party, Shakes. Think I just found our ticket out of here. The Swiss Institute ball? If they can track data in the ball, maybe they can use it to track our location. Not bad, dude. Great. Let's kick this thing off. Wait, Whoa. wait, wait. Remember what Nisha said. If it stops for more than 10 seconds, the ball shuts down, and they won't be able to track us. Yeah, yeah. What's your point? We have to nail this the first time. We're tired now. No chance we'll keep the ball moving for 12 hours straight. We can start tomorrow at first light. Nuh uh. No way I'm spending a night in that plane with you. There's just no way. Hey, so, real talk. Why'd you throw that meatball at me the other night? Ugh. I mean, the Brussels sprout I can understand. It's small, round, smells like a bird. I mean, who eats Brussels sprouts? It's like they're designed to be thrown. But a meatball? Come on, man. Those things are delicious. Hey, can you keep your whining down to a low grumble? I'm trying to sleep. Was it my fair play nomination, or, or was it because of what happened in the game? What you want from me, man? Yeah, I had a shot at winning that game, but I screwed it up. That's it, the end. So if you're trying to create some sappy moment where I tell you I admire your fair play reputation and wish I could be more like you, and then we realize we're more similar than we ever thought and should actually be best pals, forget it. 
I'm not that guy, and this isn't that moment. Seatbelts, we're heading into turbulence! What? Uh oh. Oh, whoa, it, the ball's moving. Why is it still counting? Boot contact! Quick! Sheesh. This won't be easy, but if we work together. Don't worry. I got you. Nice juggling. Too bad you joined the Super League. You could have been a world-class circus clown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, we got our boots mixed up. Let's swap back. Sure. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> On second thought, let's keep it going. Yeah, and maybe you take the first shift. Okay. I'm going to do a supply check. The terrain's pretty rough around here. We need level ground, open space. All we got are water biscuits and some canned turnips and gravy. <laughs> pretty dry for <coughs> water biscuits. <laughs> Ugh, smells like a wet tennis ball. <laughs> Man, just think of all that awesome grub we threw away in the food fight. That was some luxury cuisine we wasted. Meh, totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, bro? <laughs> what did you call me that day? Oh, yeah. Moron. Numbskull. Frog-faced. Dumpster fart. That was a good one. The mobile phone you have called is not available. Still no answer from Shakes. The judge warned us about that. The Institute confiscates phones. It's nothing to worry about. Just think, guys. But would Shakes say if he was here? Ha! I've got the perfect thing. My new voice mimic app. Come on, guys. I've got an idea. Come on, guys. i got an idea. Oh, I That's love classic Shakes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, don't worry, coach. I got this. Don't worry, coach. I got this. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Trust me. Trust me. I figured it I out. I figured it out. Watch this. I knew it. El Matador is the greatest. What? He says that a lot. <laughs> like, a lot, a lot. Incoming. And back to you. Hey, look! There's a clearing! That should make the whole keep the ball moving thing easier for you. I mean, us. Eight hours to go. But we need to find another way around. What if a train comes while we're crossing? There'll be nowhere to go. Come on, Shakes. Don't wuss out on me now. Trains are like payphones and CDs. Sure, they exist. But nobody uses them anymore. Huh. I bet there hasn't been a train on these tracks for years. Please tell me you just ate some more berries. I'm good. Could use a little help, though. Just like payphones and CDs, huh? All right, all right. You saved my butt back there. What do you want? Another fair play award? So that is what's been bugging you. Hey, I'm pretty shaken up from that close call. Would you mind? Thanks, bro. So, you ever gonna tell me what's going on? Where's all this hostility coming from? <sighs> you really wanna know. It's not about the goal I missed, or how everyone laughed at me. It's not even about the stupid fair play award. 
What bothers me is your attitude. My attitude? You know what I mean, that thing you do. Oh, look at me, I'm the poster boy for good sportsmanship. I don't eat poison berries. I know all about trains and I always do the right thing. You're mad because I helped you up? I'm mad because you think you're better than me. I don't think I'm better than you. To be honest, when you're not around, I don't think of you at all. The signal. You called it. Nice one, Skara. Duh. Nisha? You're all right. Well done. You've completed the challenge. Huh? Yeah, so the plane didn't really crash. What? <laughs> Standard procedure. Deploy fake engine smoke, drop the passengers, and fly low behind a mountain while your team rigs a replica crash site. Which brings us to this. Uh, you boys get along okay? Well... Are you kidding? Two days of bro bonding in the wild? We're best buds now. Glad to hear it. Your coaches were willing to try anything to avoid the six month ban. They were in on it? Oh, <laughs> no sly coaches. We had fun though, right buddy? Fun? Dude, you, you, oh, forget it. Can we please just go home? Match day at Strikerland. Invincible United take on the men in red for a place at the top of the table. But after some off-field controversy... You mean that epic food fight, Brenda? Super Strikers have left their leading goal scorer on the bench. Coach, Skara and I really did try to work together. Why are we still being punished? Huh? <laughs> Skara isn't being punished, Jinx. What? Just you. But, but why? After your dismal effort in the jungle, you're lucky to still be on the squad. My dismal effort? The Super League recommended a full pardon for him and a couple of games on the bench for you. And I agree. Ah, oh, but... Keep your emotions in check, Shanx. That's what got you into trouble in the first place. <sighs> it's just not going to be the same without him. Who? That ridiculous airbag with a broom for hair? Or the shakes, dummy! <laughs> With shakes, without shakes, we're still gonna crush it. Yeah, makes no difference to us. And they're off! The Derby always brings out the best in these hometown rivals. And no one enjoys the competition more than Scar on that. Perhaps not today, Brenda. We're in the final minutes of the game, and there's still no score, despite both teams playing their hearts out. The only one not pulling his weight out there is Skara. At least Skara's having a terrible game. Seems without you, he's got nothing to play for. Ugh, it's so unfair. Just look at him standing there, like a waste of space! No point making it personal, Shakes. Personal? Of course it's personal! Skara's vendetta against me is personal. And I personally worked very hard to connect with him and keep that ball moving through the jungle. I know you didn't, Shakes. Huh? Your boots. What about my boots? <sighs> I wasn't supposed to tell you this, but the Institute measured your contributions to the challenge according to boot contact with the ball. That snake! He was wearing my boots! But how did Skara know they were tracking our boots? He knew because Vince wasn't taking notes. He was writing instructions. You're right, Shakes. This is personal. And the fact you did all the work in the jungle might just pay off. Shakes is on the pitch. And Skara looks... Mm, thrilled. Hey! You told the judge you were benching that brat! I hope you brought your pen and paper. You might want to take notes. Shakes is off and firing on all cylinders. Ooh, it's a loose ball! I got it! Finally, Skara springs to life! You 
made me keep possession for 12 hours straight. I think I can handle a few more seconds. Now that Shakes has the ball back... He's not sharing it with anyone. You still prefer the Shakes dummy? Nah, can't beat the real thing. <laughs> Always bounces back. Yup, every time. I've seen pirate captains with more I discipline. I dare you to say that again! Shakes wasn't even on the field, and you still couldn't score! Don't blame me. This whole thing was your idea! Oh, come on, guys. Stay out of this, you flop-eared bozo, you big dunce, you... You boneheaded, pigeon toed butt scratching ignoramus! If village idiots had their own village, you'd be their king! And what's with the band aids? Is that from when the doctor removed your brain?